Well, Matt, 1-1 one, one in difficult conditions. What did you make of the game? Uh, very poor first half, and that's probably been a little bit kind and a little bit gentle. Um, unrecognisable to a certain extent in terms of uh, the individual mistakes we made, um, how poor we were, um, how disconnected we were to, in, in relation to our play. Um, the biggest positive going in at half-time was that the scoreline was only one. We have not created many chances, but the way the feel of this stadium was going, um, it was important that we showed a little bit about the second half, and we certainly did that. But as you say, we saw a completely different Rovers in the second half. Did anything change tactically? No, same same group, same formation. Um, we made a change at half-time in terms of our left-back position. Um, we were very much the same group of players. Um, we just had better tempo about us, second half. Um, like I say, first half, we were so slow and stodgy. Um, and when you're slow and stodgy, a lot of thoughts can creep into your, your mind. Um, and I thought we got caught in two minds in the first half. And like I say, that just compounded where we were in the game. Um, the goal certainly didn't help. But second half was a. It looked like a totally different team. It was the same group of players. That's the the irony of football, and the way their stadium felt was totally different as well. It's never easy going one down, but Rovers showed real fight to get back into the game. Yeah, big moment at half time, um, and I said that to the players because we've got two options: we can feel sorry for ourselves and wait for for someone to fix it, or we can fix it ourselves. Um, and that's not always down to the manager, believe it or not. Um, the players have to take responsibility at times, certainly in terms of their own individual performance. Um, I just thought we were better um, as a group, second half. Um, and that always comes down to how we handled the ball, how we used the ball, how we got to the ball, how we defended. Um, and we created probably enough opportunities. I, think, I think, remember Chrissy Martin's one over the crossbar where we might have worked their keeper a little bit more. Do you think that the conditions benefited Cheltenham's style of play? I'd be disrespectful to Cheltenham if we, if we said that. Um, conditions don't change for either, either team. Um, there was opportunities to play a certain brand of football, a certain type of football. Um, like I say, we were just too slow. Um, whenever the ball was out of play, it seemed to take a long time to come back into play from both teams. Now, they might have slowed their game down a little bit for their style, so to speak. Um, but we need tempo in us. When we showed that second half and when we had our, we were on the ascendancy, it felt like we had our tails up and, and going in the right direction. Um, so we, on another day we might have got three points but I have to be honest in terms of where we were going in at half time and I took a point. Jack Hunt made his 500th appearance today, he must be delighted to have someone with that X level of experience in the team. Yes and, and got his goal to boot, um, something he's not renowned for, it'd be interesting to see how many goals he's got in those 500 games um, but just speaking to the boys at the end, testament to him in terms of his career but his career's not over um, and I want more from him, I want, want more from the team. Um, but if there's an ever example of how to come in and, and be professional and do your day's work and look to improve, I'm sure he's done it. You don't have a career like that without that, that type of attitude. And he's a leader within the group as well. Um, so we're, we're, we're pleased he's here and we're looking forward to a lot more games.